Okay, can you all uh, see the paper again? You can all see the paper? All right, so, so first of all, before we do anything, is this going, like, we always go from left to right, don't we? Because, I mean, that's how, our, that's how we read. When you read a book, you go from left to right. The number line goes zero, one, two, three, four, okay? So when we go from left to right, is this, is this line going up or is it going down? going down, isn't it? So it should have a positive slope or a negative slope. Negative slope. Just write that down. Negative slope. As the as as it goes on, the value goes down. Kind of like our yeah. So um, so watch out for that because. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do the do the do the do the graph actually because if I start at this point and I go to this point, I'm going to figure out my rise over run, right? So rise over run, you just write down rise over run equals. Okay, so we always start on the left and we go to the right. So if I start here and I go to here, I'm going to go across, and then to get to this point, I'm going to go down. So the distance I go across, that's the run. The distance I go down, that's the rise. So, so fill out your rise over run fraction. Write it down. What's your rise? What's your run? When you go from this point to this point, how far did you run? How far did you rise? Just write it down. Take your time. We'll give you 30 seconds. Take your time. Write it down. What's the rise over the run if I go from this point to this point? Take your time. Do we all get it, or do you want me to do it, or how are we get none? 3.4, question 4. Do you want me to do this, or we, have we got it, or? Okay, so we go across 1, 2, 3, 4 units. Did you notice that? So the run is 4. Any questions on the run being 4? Is that okay? The rise then, we went up or down? Down, so that's a negative, because we didn't rise at all, we actually dropped. So a drop is like a negative rise, so it's a negative something. How far did we drop? Drop one, negative one, yep. So the rise over run is giving me negative one over four. Write that as a with the negative in line with the fraction bar, and it looks like this, negative a quarter. Does that make sense? So negative one over four is the same thing as negative a quarter. Make sense? Anyway, that's our slope from the graph. And we're also going to get it with our formula. Remember our whole uh, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The difference between the y's over the difference between the x's. If this is the first point, x1, y1, this is the other point, x2, y2, remember that, right? So we go, the difference between the y's, there's a y of 2 and a y of 3. So I'm just going to go 2 minus 3 on the top of that fraction. And then I'll get the difference between the x's. I've got a 5 and I've got a 1. So I'll just divide that by 5 minus 1. And calculate that. Take your time. 2 minus 3 over 5 minus 1. Take your time. Write it down. Negative 1. Good. $2. Two dollars. Subtract 3. I'm in debt by a dollar. 5 minus 1 is 4. Negative a quarter. Same thing. Okay? So... We plotted the points, we drew a line through it, we got a rise over run, negative a quarter. We used our formula, we got negative a quarter. The slope is negative a quarter. Anything else? Good on that, right? Awesome.